All right, Nate and Julian, guys. This is what we call rough wiring. See, we put the blue box in, we hammer that in, we run the wires through. We got holes, we drill through the walls. This is the bedroom. This is one circuit here. We got about you know, 10 to 12 plugs on here. So all the wires, they go through the wall. They come out, go around, and we'll bring them back to our electrical box. It's way downstairs in the basement. That's what I'm doing today. You see that big drill down there? That's why I use the drill through the walls to get the wires in. So that's, so this is Bob's, Uncle Bob's house. And uh, we have a lot more work to do. And that's just a little, so you plug in your appliances and turn your lights on. See, we start with all these little electrical boxes here. And I run all the wires through to them. That's what we do. All right. Try to get this thing. I don't know how well it's gonna work. All right. Maybe we gotta put our staple in there. Nice and neat as we can do it. Nice and neat and working like that. There's that. I'll go right here. We'll cut these off. Curl those in. Now that pull this down like that. And this one's gonna come in here. Let's go back out. Ooh, I got that close. Side. All right. I guess that's all right. That's fine. That's still enough wire. I almost messed myself up there. All right. Can we should pull enough wire through, otherwise, you're going to screw yourself up. Make it harder later, right? In like manner. Later on, they're gonna come back, put she rock on the walls. We got plumbing to do in the bathrooms and stuff. That's right there is the bathroom. So this bathroom over here. We'll kind of cut that off. This thing goes right in there. There's that wire. We're not going to staple that quite yet because we got more to do there. Let's save this piece, we'll probably use that later. Now we got this little box that needs a wire. And we're going to pop this out and get our wire in there. So more pieces, here we go. Cut over this beam. That's our feed. It's all for. Have to see that there. Gonna have to staple that right there. So get my hammer in there and throw a staple on that guy. I don't have much room in here, so. Stable down now. So. All right, moving right along. 
cut this. And lose this one. And I got what we call a home run. So that's gonna go down the hole right there. See that? There's a little hole in the ground. And that's where the home run goes down. That goes back to the panel, to the breaker and the electrical box. And that feeds this whole circuit all the way around. See? That's how that one works. I like to staple these back because later on they're, they're gonna be moving around, putting sheetrock up here. We don't want our wires popping in the way. Next they get caught and things, that's no good, you know? Makes a lot more work. So you gotta staple them back neat. So that's what we're doing now. All right. Can't make the staples too tight, it'll cut right through the wire. Then you'll have problems if you do that. And uh, yeah, so that's that. I'll take these, coil them up. I used to be able to insulate right off the top of these wires, but the problem is you get sheetrock and paint in there, so I'll just leave it on. When they paint it, it won't be in the way. And now, from that box, we're going to run a wire up. We're going to go through that hole right up there. See it? Right there. And we're going to come right over here. I'm going to put a wire up here for a light. And we don't know exactly where the light's going yet. So we'll kind of. I think we're going to just do a little loop up there for now. So we'll need a ladder. Either that, I grow up on the Three foot, four foot taller, but so we got ladders. So I'm right in here on this wire. Hard thing is we can't put wires like under the beams, so we're gonna be having sheet rock in here later. So what we can do is just loop it over for now. And there's pretty much nothing going on here so on this on this ceiling. All right. So yeah, we're gonna bring that wire up the wall. We're gonna staple it here. And then we're going to staple our staple a couple feet, two feet down or so. And we're going to leave a loop up here. That way, uh, you know, finish that later. So, that's what I'm doing right now. See, because I don't know tripod from my phone here. But it'll work a little bit. So I'll say we're gonna staple this in here. I gotta kind of pull the wire tight. And then we'll finish staple that one. Nice and snug. Move our ladder down here and leave a loop right about here in the middle of the ceiling. Okay. Plop this up here. You guys can see me like that. Yeah, we'll come back, throw the light in, keep it nice and center up here. Exactly where it needs to be. At least the wires are flipping out. Here we are. Here we go. Light wire. Here. 
back over here. I'm going to see if we can bring this wire down. That's a pretty good one there, so cut that on the wall. Making progress, Bob. We got one bedroom wired, um, another bedroom working on. Kind of got some of the wires in there. So, looking good. We'll have this done in no time. A lot of work, though. Get the big hole hog drill out. More holes to drill. It's tingling and everything. We'll get there. Going right along. Find a way. And let's see. We got a. Uh, right here we got to throw in. And that one. Good. We got less wires running through here. Put another one up here. You guys get a fresh on view. Sawdust on the camera. There we go. We'll dust off later. Alright. And I gotta put a double switch box here for some reason. I don't know why I don't. I need a double there for Light and fan. I like have two uh, switches, so independent. Reminds me. That wire over there ain't gonna work good for that. I might need to put that somewhere else. Because I need three wire up there for light and fan control. Shoot. We don't have any free wire. That might need to come out. Or use that and run it over to this. No, not enough though. Hmm. Alright, I'll have to take that back out because that's not good. That's not good for what we gotta do. Oh well, like you say, we do it twice because we do it nice. Alright. So we need to follow three up here. I don't have it right now. So let's come back to the and see it's in fall three. I think it's time to take a break and some starting. I'm getting a little hungry doing all this and cold. Oh.
Turn to drill through now, so it'd be great. Avoid drill through now, so it'd be great. Right. Here's our progress on our electrical project so far. We got some of the bed master bedroom done. Got to finish that up. We got oh, we got a kitchen fridge home run done. Got more to do in the kitchen, but that's got to get the kitchen kind of squared up here first. Um, we got some of the living room outlets around the fireplace complete. We got the bedrooms done in the back. That one's done. All the home runs are down to the panel. Um, we got the laundry kind of done. I, most of the outlets. Got to see if we got to run the stove while you're up here. We need to get a 12-3 wire and 14-3 uh, for the lights. We'll get that next time. We got a uh, plug for that area for this room. We got some boxes on the walls. The garage, I got the boxes nailed on the wall. I haven't drilled the holes yet. I'll do that next time. But there you have it. I'll come back to me tomorrow. Keep working. Gotta go get something to eat. And uh, more fun again tomorrow. So happy sparky electricity. <laughs> we'll see ya.